We're the Murrays, trying to master the art of growing up one day at a time. Well, today is a very special day. Today is Mommy's birthday! That's right! So we are making some and, cards for her. And we're making French toast for us to eat. Yep. Mommy. And French toast, and right? This is our tummy, 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 tummy. Get off the table, we don't want you to fall backwards. Yep, so we're making French toast. That's her favorite. And they've been making some cards for her. Girls been pretty good. They woke up not fighting. Um, I don't know how long they were up for, but I would imagine for a little while. Tyler woke up and she had to go to the bathroom, so I took her out. And then we came down here, and we're doing uh, we did some Play-Doh time. Did some coloring a picture for Mommy's birthday time. And now it's breakfast time, so I'm going to make some French toast. Here we go. So the kids have been missing naps the last two days. They went and played with uh, a friend, Jackson, and they, they've been missing their naps going over there. And they're like, well, I was. Daniel was like, oh, I missed their naps. They'll be crazy. I was like, no, they'll be fine. And they've been a little crazier than usual. I'm sorry, Tyler. Oh, I'm sorry I hurt your foot. Cool. Well, mainly just Elena. Tyler's been okay. She's actually been pretty good. Judy's been great because she was home with us, but Elaine's been a little grumpy grump. So we're trying to cut that out. Well, I thought Danielle would want to go out and do something for her birthday today, but she just wants to clean the house. So, we're cleaning the house. I can't help it. I feel a lot less stressed when the house is clean. And if there's a day of the year that you won't complain at me for wanting to clean, then I'm going to take advantage of that. Well, today's the day. I'm tired. Hey, you be nice. <laughs> Judy's making me scared. You a little scared too? You a little nervous? Good, dude. You gonna go down? Hey. Don't get your foot caught. You're gonna tumble down the rest of the way. Well. Giving Danielle a little break, taking the kids to the park so that she can kind of do whatever she wants at the house. And yeah. Here we're gonna go out later. She, hey, she can go out. Be careful, don't push her. I think we can we're gonna go out a little later on. Me and Danielle. Okay, go. That's not fun enough. Why not? Hold on, Judy. You want to go down? All right, hold on. Anyways, we're going to go out a little later for her birthday. So, give her some time to get ready and whatnot while I deal with these little children. Like this kid. Can you say hi? <laughs> going to get you, Judy. <laughs> Yeah. Here, Judy, just put your shoe on. Judy's lost her shoe one million times here. One million times! Come on, Judy, put your shoe on. I'm getting out of Sparta. We are out for Danielle's birthday. All alone. With that, man. She wanted to go to Michael's, so here we are. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We gotta hurry. The Arts and Crafts Store. Here you go. Um, yeah, we're redecorating, and so I want to just see what they have. You know those coupons are like 20% off your entire purchase, 40% off one item. That's what I like about this store. So we're going to see what they have, and then we're going to go get something to eat. Yay, I like to eat. Yeah. Okay, but I do know how to draw it. That's embarrassing, maybe? No way, I used to watch Dragon Ball Z. Oh yeah, that's right, that's not embarrassing at all. No. Kamehameha! <laughs> <laughs> Do something else. Do some more. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was joking. <laughs>
I'm totally using this. So tonight we're pretty sure we thwarted a robbery. Uh, thwarted. So this dude, we go to Michael's. Danielle, that's we you saw. We went to Michael's. That was Danielle's uh, favorite place to go to, apparently. Anyways, yeah, she did for decorating her house. So it's closing. It's nine o'clock. We're check about to check out. There's a guy walks in. He's kind of bummy looking. He doesn't look like somebody who'd be shopping in Michael's, especially right at closing. Hmm? Hmm? I keep my eye on him. Because, you know, he being the man that I am, I want to I want to keep my eye on this guy. So right when he walks in, he goes right to the checkout line. Just kind of stops and stands there. And he looks around. He passed us. He looked at us. Kind of looked at us like this. A little sketchy. <clears throat> And so he's looking at the cash register, and they're actually emptying the cash drawers at the time, too. So I was like, okay. Stop doing that. I'm trying to show him what I got. So he's, they're emptying the cash drawers and stuff. So he puts his hand in his pocket. Capstick. Puts his hand in his pocket. Nothing wrong with that. But he's kind of just being fidgety and weird. So Here, let me hold it so you can show him what he was speaking. Yeah, let me show you. So he walks in like this. This is actually a perfect place. because the, Here's the entrance over this way is the checkout uh, lane. So he kind of walks in, doing this number, walks straight over to the checkout lane. That's suspicious. So anyways, puts his hand in his pocket, he's kind of doing this, he passed us. Okay, back up, I can't see your Sorry. hands in your pocket. There so you put go. his hand in his pocket, he's kind of looking around, they're, they're over here, they're about to start counting money. Shh. Francis! Francis We're trying to tell a story! story. <laughs> Sorry, people. So then he's like, look around, and then... Hold on. <laughs> Let me just say, I was still shopping at this point. I mean, yeah, I was standing no there, but I was, was like, looking on. for some things in the little dollar bins, and I was clearance like... clearance items. So I really wasn't really paying attention to what was happening. Yeah, but yeah. I remember thinking to myself, oh, we're not the last ones in here. See? It's no problem. <laughs> you know, we're not. The guy who's going to rob the place is. Anyways, so I'm like... Yeah, Danielle's not even paying attention, and my heart's like literally beating because I was like, okay, this guy is about to try something. This is this isn't normal. Yeah. So the guy has his hands pocket, doing all this stuff, fishing around. Finally, turns to leave. Walks by Danielle. She says, "Hey, how's it going?" Goes over to the exit door, which is kind of over here as well, around this other side. But there's like a little baskets and things with some stuff in it. So he's kind of just like messing around with this stuff and just kind of standing there. And just one last time, he looks back at the cash register section, and then he just turns and walks out the door. He left. 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 Thwarted! Okay, so we got in the car, and John told me all of what just happened because I was there, but I was looking for decorations. So I really wasn't paying attention. Yeah, she was like, how much of a discount is it if with this it's 40% off? That was way before. That was way before. I was looking like the dollar thing. Anyway. And so I was like, John, isn't that crazy? Because I was all day today I was flip flopping like, I don't really want to go out. We have so much stuff to do. We've got to get ready for Pennsylvania. I have all this laundry. And then we were going to go to a further restaurant. We we're going to go to the Melting Pot. But then I was like, oh, it's going to take too long. Well, what if we go somewhere closer? And so then we were talking about Chili's because we have like rewards points there. So we get free, I got free dessert for my birthday. It was great. Monica got us free dessert. Monica. It was Monica's birthday too. That was pretty cool. Friends. Anyway, so. Then I was like, well, I'd like to go to Michael's, and that's right there. So, okay, I'm excited. So then we went, and we decided to do that. And John was like, totally fine with going to Michael's before we went to Chili's. <sighs> I'll actually say, I didn't, I didn't want to. I was this close, because I was really hungry. I was this close to saying, can we just go eat and then not do that? But I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. So we went, and like, I was only going to stay there for a little bit, just look at a couple things for the decorations. Which we him. all know means until they close. Whatever. And we stayed there for an hour, or almost, not quite an hour, but until they close, about an hour, which I didn't even want to be there that long, so I don't know. But yeah, so I was like, John, what if he was going to rob it, and then, like, God, you know, put us there, and he saw us with a baby, because we had Adeline with us, and was like, I can't, like, you know, what if just something in him, some sort of conscious, was like, I can't do that, like, there's a little baby with them, and that's what made him leave. 
conscience. You know, we'll probably find out mm -hmm. tomorrow when we see that he robbed that he went back anyway to BJ's or something like that oh, in the same okay. shopping center. Anyway, so I was like, what is that? How, how crazy are the rates? So that's what I was telling myself, so I didn't feel so bad about spending so long at Michael's. That God sent us to Michael's so that this guy would come in and not rob these little old ladies that work there. Um, okay, they weren't little old ladies, but they were older ladies. They were. They were really it would have been scary for them. It oh, that's where are you? There it you would have been scary for me, not me. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you click the subscribe button to follow along with the Murrays. Subscribe.